I have a, even though I don't have an official mandate for that, <clears throat> I nevertheless um, bring a, uh, a, yeah, a, a specific message. Just a week ago in Berlin, the uh, well-known uh, UN rapporteur, uh, Jean Ziegler, gave a speech. And uh, for those who know him, he is a very, uh, a very passionate person. But he also made some, uh, some points that I think were particularly shocking to a German audience. Uh, the first, I think, was that by employing current means of production in agriculture, we could easily feed 12 billion people on the planet, not using you know, any more land than we have available now, but just employing the means that exist. So that was shocking. Uh, I think another, another uh, shocker was that, that he, um, he said every um, five seconds a child dies of hunger, 23,000 people die every day because they don't have enough to eat. And uh, according to the numbers of the World Bank, and you can, I think, rest assured that these are not the, that they don't represent the full picture, um, more than 150 million people have been killed by starvation uh, this year alone. And Siegler made the useful comparison saying that <coughs> German fascism or the Second World War and the Nazis took six years to kill 56 million people in World War II, something which is done today much, much more efficient and much quicker. Um, now, the reason I'm saying this is because I have learned uh, personally quite a lot from all the presentations today. And um, I would just add my own appeal, number one, to take, really take this to heart, because something that is um, not so explicitly addressed yet is that spe specifically for the Germans, as I am one, <laughs> uh, we have to address the question of uh, environmentalism and greenism, that this is at the root uh, of the death of these 150 million people this year alone. This is a, this is a system which is worse than the Nazis. And um, I have, uh, I just want to say that, uh, you know, even though, even though Jean Ziegler uh, makes this really drastic analysis, he does not do what we do at this conference. He, he does not have an actual solution. Because on that background, everything that was presented here so far in terms of really um, concepts that change your view, you know, I don't, I don't, I have never heard as much about Iran, for instance, than I have today, or about the Arab world. Um, and, and projects that could be started there, uh, the, the, pr the program Hussein presented. <clears throat> but um, we, have to, we have to be clear that this is not something that is somewhere in the, in the that, can be the, that can be discussed somewhere in the realm of um, the usual discussions that we have, you know, not only because the media blacks out everything that is actually worthwhile talking about, but also because the own assumptions in the population that we are trying to organize um, constantly say, you know, at best you find people who just woke up, so to speak, and found that the world really doesn't work this way, um, but they go completely over the top when it comes to thinking about a solution because they, they have never really learned how to think about these, these questions. So I just wanted to add that because I think it's important to, that we also dis discuss that before we leave from here because in some way, uh, I don't know how to do it, but we, we would need something like this conference every week or maybe every month. Uh, but in all the European countries, because I can imagine that it's not just Germany that is in such uh, dire straits when it comes to a complete lack of, of uh, solutions or even talking about the actual problem that exists. So my question briefly to Helga is, um, what else should we do? Because, uh, I mean, this is a big, it's a big deal to organize such a conference. We did it short term, but it's still a massive effort, and we can't probably do it every week now. But Well, I can, uh, um, you know, po positively report that, um, I mean, the idea of this conference I developed to have in Rhodes, you know, at the Rhodes Conference, which is this uh, dialogue of civilization, which is organized by Vladimir Yakunin, and it used to be uh, also initiated by J.C. Kapoor, who unfortunately died. And it, you know, it's a dialogue of, of about 600 or actually more people who all came together for the tenth time. And there was a, a big awareness. Uh, Mr. Yakunin, uh, Professor Dahlmeier, uh, and some others really talked about the danger of having no future. And that was the you know, uh, only conference other than ours where I ever have heard 
people talking about the possibility that mankind may not have a future because we may extinct ourselves. So I came from this conference uh, sort of agitated and, you know, also because the, the reality is what, what, what I knew it was. So I decided to have a conference in short term, which is sort of a, you know, adventurous project because normally you cannot organize a conference in four weeks. And, you know, we made a couple of mistakes in, in, the, in the way of it, but... Um, <clears throat> but the good thing was the response was overwhelming and I was urged by very high ranking people from Russia from the United States from Japan, from China to organize a new conference and you know that then people can clear their schedules and come and, and I'm determined to have such a conference as soon as possible in the new year make it larger, get more people involved in, in helping to build it because we have to get a movement going against this war. And, you know, I think that in the... <clears throat> I think that the key thing, you know, and I, I, I know that for many other discussions, the biggest difficulty people have is to talk about solutions. You know, people like to analyze the problem and... You know, there are obviously a lot to learn about it because if you don't understand the conflict, then you, you don't form the right opinion. But I, I think we have to initiate a discussion about the new paradigm, you know, because people have to have a complete... I do, not, I do not think that we have reached a civilizational crisis of this dimension where it's not just the war, it's not just the financial system which is collapsing, it's the morality. Look at what happened to the culture of the young people. Uh, people are, you know, with 14 years pornographers raping, uh, making videos. It's just a complete collapse. You know, the, the, the end result of this empire policy, of this globalization, is a moral collapse. And if we don't address that, this is why we have the classical concert tonight. If we don't change the paradigm, we will not get out of this crisis. And I think this is a very short-term question and um, I think that, you know, I really want you to start thinking about economic development. Familiarize yourself with economic theory. Study the projects we have proposed. If you don't agree with that project, then propose another one. You know, but just do some, some major discussion process to rebuild the world.